I'll tell you, it is really part of the uh, pageantry of the tournament itself because every wrestler in Indiana knows where the final matches are going to be held in an individual tournament, and this is part of it. No, I don't know of anyone. A lot of them are held in high schools. Uh, years ago, the finals were held at Southport and other places. Then they moved to Market Square Arena, I believe, in 81. Sure. And now to Conseco, and this is really, it's an honor to wrestle here, actually. These young men are treated to quite a pageant. 152-pound weight class. You're looking at Briar Runyon from Martinsville. A 9-to-1 decision got him here. He was third at 152 last year, a four-time state folk-style champion. 151-165 for the career for Kyle Ulrey of New Palestine. He got here via an 8-to-3 decision. He is a four-time county and conference champion. This should be a great matchup. It's uh, got the makings of it, but Runyon got in nicely on a single. and is trying to get a foot sweep, and he almost had a nearside cradle. And I'll say one thing, Ulrey is doing a nice job of fighting out. He gave a quick take down there, and I, uh, it was quick. And uh, Ulrey was able to get it right away with the escape, so it's two to one. But Runyon uh, got the leg almost immediately, a nice single leg, and he is an outstanding wrestler. He is just a junior. He beat Christopher Stepp from Perry Meridian, did Briar Runyon. Kyle Mosier of Yorktown was Ulrey's victim in the semifinals. We've got 36 seconds left, and I'm, I would think the uh, New Palestine coaches are we're hoping for no call instead of a takedown and escape. But already undefeated with a record of 45 and 0, and we mentioned Runyon with a record of 38 and 1. And I think one of the best referees in the state of Indiana is on the mat right now, James Russell. So he he does his best, as do all the referees. They try. They it's an honor for them to get here, and they work very hard to get to this level. Runyon with a uh, two to one advantage at the end of period number one. Runyon is something of an unorthodox wrestler also. He can make things happen that most wrestlers don't even think about uh, as far as his strategy goes. So we'll see what happens here. Runyon took the defensive or down position second period to try to build on his lead. Stands up immediately and gets away. Nice shot. The double leg shot, and Ulrey blocked it. Now they're both in the over and under, and if these situations can uh, be pretty interesting because both wrestlers have basically the same possibilities as moves. Ulrey's got a nice single, head outside single. He's trying to whip him down, and I think he's going to score two. He, he got around the waist. Yep, and that should tie it up at three. I think you're right, Mark. Both wrestlers are going at it, and uh, this is going to be exciting. It's a good matchup. Boy, the strength and the speed that you see once we get up in the 150s and 160s, just so impressive. It takes a lot for any individual to step on the mat and wrestle, but to wrestle at this level and not be uh, intimidated and not be afraid to use the moves that got you to this level that's impressive, and I think both of these wrestlers are doing that now. What's the old saying? If it was easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> well, I think you can talk to anyone who's wrestled. It's not much easy about wrestling, but it is sure uh, a character builder, and it's an exciting sport. Runyon uh, picks up a point. He leads it now 4-3 to three with under a minute to go. Both are jockeying for position. A nice shot across single shot by Ori. And Runyon counters it. Now he's got a front headlock. He's going to try to pull his post arm out. He might see a, a row under. Catch that ankle. If he can get around, spin around, he'll secure his two-point takedown. Runyon's in good position. Switches to a single. And Ulrey's trying to get the leg in. If he gets a leg in, he's going to score two if he gets up. He's got it tied. He got it. Jumped out to a 5-4 advantage with under 15 seconds left in the period. A dandy one here at the 152-pound weight class. I think this is going to go to full six minutes, if not more. Unbeaten Kyle Ulrey of New Palestine against Briar Runyon of the Martinsville Artisans at the end of period number two in the 152-pound weight class. Runyon trying to remain unbeaten. We'll he leads if, it 5-4. We'll see if Runyon cuts him right away and tries to take him down or if he'll try to ride him and put him in, uh, 
try to score some back points. At this point, looks like he's going to try to ride him a little bit, see what happens. But if he's not successful in turning over to his back, which is highly unlikely at this level. Well, Martinsville's had wrestlers at this level for years. Of course, for years under Dave Arrett, who was the mm -hmm. outstanding wrestling coach at Martinsville. And uh, yeah, ironically, Dave is, is now from time to time helping his son, Zach, who has taken over the wrestling program at Mooresville. No, Dave, well, and you're exactly right. They've had outstanding wrestlers. Uh, they're always competitive. If they don't have a full team that can go head-to-head -head with you, they always have individuals that are going to take you uh, to town as far as their their uh, abilities and and their uh, competitiveness. Runyon will cut Ulrey now, and it'll be a 6-4 lead for Ulrey, and Runyon's going to try to secure a takedown. He's working inside. 7-4 to four the lead now for Ulrey after that point. Oh, nice. He's got in for a nice single again. A minute and a half to go in the 152-pound weight class. Briar Runyon trying to win a championship. Ulrey, a four-time county and conference champion, trying to finish 46-0 his senior season. Now Runyon's got the single again. He's got him up. Last time he tried to foot sweep, this time he works. Two-point takedown. Still needs a point. He trails 7-6. to six. He's going to turn him loose and try to get another two-point takedown. Now it's 8-6. Ulrich shot right back. He didn't want Runyon to take the offensive on him, but Runyon's in a front headlock. And Ulrich will be content to stay here if he can, but I don't think that's going to happen. Under a minute to go in the final period, 8-6. to six, Ulrich leads it. Briar Runyon, Runyon tried to score. Runyon will try to shuck him up or try to raise him a little bit and shoot under if he can. But he's got the underhook to his left side. 40 seconds left now. Runyon takes a look at the scoreboard. He trails it 8-6. to six. Kyle Ulrey of New Pal trying to give the Dragons a state championship. Mark, this is nice shot. Two-point takedown. That nice may have deep been the clincher shot, there. and that's where the hips come in, Mark. You notice he, got his, he lowered his level a little bit, and he arches back, and he took Runyon down, and Runyon put up a gallant effort. But it looks like this is going to be Ulrey's night. Down to 15 seconds to the new pal faithful you hear. Seated below us start to celebrate a bit. Sometimes it's hard to make the picks as who's number one, who's number two. Give him a point for the escape. Individual rankings. But Ulrey is ranked number one in the state. Runyon is ranked number two. And it looks like that's the way it's going to turn. 152-pound weight class about to be decided here with four seconds left. There's a stalling against Ulrey, and That's he's gonna ready do to it. Set. He's going to celebrate. 152-pound champion is Kyle Ulrey of New Pal. Finishes with a record of 46-0.